Today we're gonna test the DaVinci Resolve 3 against the DaVinci Resolve Studio because it's one of the most known for coloring audiovisual pieces. We will use a computer with a Windows 7 Ultimate Operating System of 64 bits, 48 gigabytes of memory RAM, two processors Xeon with 12 cores each one. We have two solid disks for the booting and one disk for the storage. Also, we will get four video card reforced Titan of 6 gigabyte each one. So, according to this, at the moment we're testing from the computer hardware system. It has Windows 7 Ultimate of 64 bits. Here we can appreciate the two solid disks and one hard disk. The four Titan graphic cards of 6GB each one will now be presented by this gadget that will monitor the use of each card. Both Xeon processors will be presented for this gadget monitoring the use of each core. We will start by setting up the project with a timeline resolution of Ultra HD. The frame rate will be of 30 frames per second in camera row. We will choose Select GNG Cinema because all video clips that we're using were recorded with a Blackmagic 4K. When we're going to import files from the media pool to timeline, the time is very similar. You don't find any differences. Both versions show a 30 frames per second playback, but it's not really 30 frames per second. At the time of coloring and adjust the different settings, both versions are working so similar, but the studio version offers less noise among the tools. For rendering, both DaVinci's versions mainly use the video card, but the studio version is the only one that multi GPUs. It means that you can use one more video card at the same time. Even if the studio version had four video cards rendering, it's only one minute faster than the free version that only had one video card rendering. Even though we're using 4 GeForce Titan of 6 GB, DaVinci only uses 100% of its performance when we apply noise reduction. The free version has the option of noise reduction, but it will only generate a big mark that fills the entire screen. Even though the studio version allows you to multi-GPU, doesn't use the maximum performance of it. Even that in the second version of the software, the 30 frames per second are gonna appear green, you're not really looking 30 frames per second. The studio version allows the noise reduction, blur effects, three-dimensional image editing, and remote render. Even that the difference between the studio version and free version is only one minute apart, we're talking about a computer that costs about $13,000, more than $1,000 a dongle. So if taking this to account, if the material doesn't have a lot of noise, we don't need stereoscopic render, and we wouldn't need to use remote render either. You can use the free version of DaVinci on a computer that costs around $2,000 to $3,000. Thank you for watching and wait for the next video from 88.net.